what is going on guys uh, we're back in my car for this video and today we're gonna be talking about is a 300 ZX reliable I get asked this question all the time almost as much as is your car fast and um, the answer isn't as clear-cut as the fast one these cars are, I think, honestly, in my opinion, well-built cars. Now, they are built like stacked on top of each other. So everything you have to do to work on the car, you have to pull stuff off first to get to it. Now, for reliability, I think that if you drove this car... Like you drive a Camry or a Honda Civic, well not a Honda Civic, people will beat them, but a normal car that you wouldn't like race around and, and, and try to have fun in, it would be a reliable car, it would be relatively reliable, but the second that you start doing all this crazy stuff like, you know, burnouts, drifts, you know, hard pulls, long pulls, that puts stress on the motor and that causes things to break, so that's why sports cars are considered not reliable. Now, I wouldn't want to take this car on a, you know, long road trip just for the hell of it, just because it's not that reliable because of those factors. And it all depends on how well your car was actually taken care of in the first place. So like you could take care of your car amazing, but if the owner before you didn't, then you're going to have a lot of problems from him. Um, but if the car has been, you know, well maintained and taken care of and everything's been done on time, then honestly, this car should be reliable. It should be good. It shouldn't have any issues, really. And, you know, it should work perfect. Sorry, guys. Crazy stuff. Um, for me, I haven't really had many issues with the car. Uh, a few hiccups here and there. I actually just had um, an issue with the car where I kind of broke down. Um, the um, shifter mount broke, and that's... I don't think that's a common thing to break. I mean, that just literally, it, it's what supports your shifter up. And one of the, it's like a, it's like this. So like, it's like this. And this piece broke. So it was hitting my drive shaft and making like a really, really loud noise. Almost like the drive shaft was broken. So that's why I, I broke down. But I ended up just taking it off and it works without that piece. But I'm going to go ahead and buy another one soon. Um, and I had the clutch went out um, on the car. Or I started slipping, but these are common issues. I really haven't had. I had a vacuum leak at one point, but these are just—they're not really that big of a deal. And I mean, I've had this car for about two years now, and those are the really the major problems. Have been the clutch, and that's really it. I really had no engine problems ever, um, but I always do oil changes, probably a little bit more than you're supposed to. But I just like getting fresh oil in it. Um, so yeah, if you take care of the car, you really shouldn't have uh, reliability problems. Like I, I daily drive, or I used to daily drive the car for probably a year and a half. I just stopped daily driving it because I bought a new, another car. Um, but I mean, this car was good, you know, all the time. I do let it like, so there's certain things you can do to prolong, you know, your car. Uh, I always let it heat up or warm up first before I get on it or do anything crazy. Uh, and I think that helps. You can always feel it. Like whenever you turn the car on in the morning and you go to drive it right away, you can just feel the car sluggish and like it doesn't want to go. So I usually let it warm up to a good temperature until I, you know, really start getting on it and having fun with it. Um, but I honestly think that these are relatively reliable. Uh, they're probably not as reliable as like a Camry or a Honda Civic, but I think you could I think they're reliable honestly in my opinion they're reliable they have a lot of stupid issues though that is one thing they have a lot of dumb issues that like the broken ship thing that should never have happened I did nothing specific that would cause that but um and then the vacuum leaks are, are a pain in this car like I get everyone gets vacuum leaks in these cars because there's so many vacuum lines and it's it's a mess, but um, for all, all, all in all, I would like I said before, it's reliable. Um, and goes back to the would you daily it? Is it a good daily? You can go look at that video. 
I will uh, link that in the description. And just like I said then, and I'm gonna say now, you can daily it, and it, it can be reliable. Would I trust it as my car to take me from Georgia to California? Probably not, but just around you know your area, perfectly fine. I don't, it's, it's reliable. I get in the car and I just drive it. I really haven't had any issues. I've never woken up and it not started on me. But yeah guys, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and uh, go ahead and subscribe just right now. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button. And uh, if you have any ideas for things you wanna know about this car or anything like that, go ahead and comment that down below. And also, the Joker hoodies uh, will be for sale soon. So uh, stay on the lookout for that, guys, and uh, have a great day. Peace.